everybody, this is Neil Fowler and I'm here with a weekly astrological message. This is where I talk about celestial energies that we all swim in and are affected by all zodiac signs. So we are heading into a new moon in the sign of Virgo in the 14th degree, exactly trining Uranus and conjunct Mars opposing Neptune. We're going to talk about these energies today. We started an exact opposition between Mars planet of male energy and, and potency and independence opposing the planet of illusion and um, the lack of boundaries and eternity and collectivity and nature which is Neptune so we could have a lot and that was exact on the second and diminishing since but this is a long-term effect and just before and after we could still feel you know that there are a lot of issues of potency and impotency, of powerfulness versus powerlessness, of the ability of the one to influence the 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 you know the world, or the inability of any of us to be in control of things that are not within our grasp. This could give us a heightened feeling that we want to disconnect that we want to go to sleep, that we want to see a movie, read a book, see a play, that we want to have a drink, have a smoke, that we want to run away and disconnect from all of this. But don't worry, it's moving away. My uh, uh, advice to you, use it for creativity. It's a, it is a very creative time. And it's a time that we could utilize this energy for our own creativity. Um, However, on the 5th and the 6th, we have a lot of major transits in the sky. On the 5th, we have Mercury, planet of communication and commerce, trining Saturn. This is going to give us a hand in understanding what is right and what isn't, what is true and what isn't, which information is the right information. It could help us base that database that we need in order to understand how it is we need to walk forward and plan our actions in this new world that we are all in it's a good time for signing deals for establishing communications that's on the fifth and the sixth we have venus planet of relationships and love and the relationship we have with money and value in ourselves squaring pluto and trining jupiter so this is a great time of transformation there there's a required transformation in how we interact with one another intimately or not there's a need for transformation in how we bring in money and value into our life and how that influences our uh, self-value in a sense, our self-esteem. And definitely this is a good time for love. This is a good time for money. We could be spending a lot of money as well. We could be in, overindulging as well. And that's the bad sides of Jupiter. So don't overindulge. Don't go over the top. Nevertheless, this is a great time if you do your own effort to find love, to find a work that provides you with better sustenance and satisfaction, to actually work on your life to provide you with better satisfaction and sustenance. This could be a time of good development. Um, on the 7th, we have a new moon, as I said, in Virgo, encompassing within it that opposition between Neptune and Mars, that feeling of impotency versus potency, our ability versus our inability, and so on and so forth. And it's draining to the degree Uranus, requiring change and upgrade, requiring us as a humanity and as individuals to walk forward, to disconnect from the past and actually walk towards the future. This is a time in which we are required to retake control Virgo in a way that would provide holistic healing on all levels not only through our daily routines and the food that we eat and how much water we drink or how much we're sleeping at night or are we meditating or not or are we active physically or not but also mentally and also spiritually and of course emotionally and socially I mean all these levels come together and definitely, Hygieia is conjunct that new moon as well, even furthering Hygieia, the goddess of hygiene, 
daughter of Asclepius, the god of medicine, cert certainly forwarding that idea for a greater hygiene, health, and healing that needs to take place through control, self-control in this case. Um, other than that, we have Mercury opposing Chiron in the sky at the same time. It's a time that could be full of endearing communication or, God is forbid, communication that can cause us emotional hurt or we could be too harsh with others. This is a time to really, really be vigilant on the one hand and, and conscious on the other on how we speak, how we communicate, um, what it is people say to us and how we react to that. And working on healing through communications, understanding that we grew up and we are now more mature, more advanced than we were in the past. Maybe we are not prone to do the same mistakes over again. Maybe we can learn and then do some new ones. You know. So when it comes to interacting with others, this is a sensitive time. And this is a time for us to be sensitive as well. Um, other than that, when I go forward to the 10th and the 11th and the 9th, all days that don't have a lot of emotional calmness within them and a short fuse and a bit too much judgment. So really watch that, really watch that. Other than that, I want to say that, you know, um, Mercury has ingressed into Libra. It's going to stay in Libra for a while. It's going to actually uh, retrograde in, in, in the sign of Libra from the 10th degree to the 26th degree. It's going to go into its shadow on the 6th of September. That means that from the 6th of September, we're already in this Mercury retrograde period. And it's going to leave its shadow only on November 2nd. So from now, or from a week from today until November, this is a time that things might run slower and that we need to accumulate our information, that you know, um, understandings are going to materialize and through these understandings we would need to replan how it is we make our path through this universe. This is definitely a time of planting and sowing of a new cycle. Um, course if you have to do anything important through the mercury retrograde just double check things and go ahead um, I want to remind everybody that there are courses over the net and private lessons going on all the time and readings with me everything and courses and private lessons all are 35% off because of the Delta COVID strain that is hitting us um, so utilize that the prices are at the bottom and goddess knows I need it too I would love to hear from you so everybody I want to thank you for listening and passing this on I want to thank you for commenting on these videos and sharing them because they expose them to more people this is Nia Filer may we all live long and prosper amen